So now that we have the ability to check if a user is signed in or not, um, the next thing to do is put together a profile page which can be used to display the user's information from the database. So for my own project, what I've done is for these two uh, profiles right here, I have a name, a bio, and then a pic, which is just a URL. And I've added that to both of them. And I just got the pics from this website called generated.photos. Um, you can get these AI generated pictures from there. And what I have is in my profile pug page, it has welcome and then their name, then a bio and a pic where the sources come from variables that we pass in when rendering the page. And remember that um, if we're signed in, the requested.user um, has all the fields of the database. So what we can do is remember that this only runs um, after the authenticator has passed because we mounted the is signed in right here. So we know that the request.user will contain um, the user's details. So what we can do is um, we can start um, providing the uh, various fields inside here. So the first thing we have is the name. And if we look at what else this profile page needs is we have um, a bio right here. So what we can say is say bio is equal to and then request dot user dot and the bio is stored in the database document as a field called bio. So we can just put bio here. And finally, uh, we have the picture and that's in the profile, it's looking for a variable called pick, which is a source of the image. We can say pick equals and then request dot user dot and then in the database document, it's stored just as pick right here. So now we'll have the bio text and the um, image source in the profile page right here. So if we save that now and I go to localhost 3000 and I need to remember to start up the server and I just refresh this page right here. Uh, we have the login form right here. So I'm just going to log in as Rosie to start off with. And the password was dog. And if we submit it, we can see that we have the welcome with the name. We have the bio, that's the same bio from the database right here. And then we have the pic, which has been also been loaded from the database. I know I also added a logout button, but um, I haven't implemented that yet. So that's, that's still um, not ready. Um, if I go back to the home page, and I just go ahead and clear this cookie right here, and then I empty a cache and do a hard reload. I'm just gonna double check that I'm still logged out. So if I just go to profile, yep, I'm logged out. And if I go to Steve and then put in Steve's password, which was um, fish, and then I submit that, we can see that we have Steve's profile information right here. It says welcome Steve, and then Steve's bios right here, and then Steve's pics right here as well. So that's essentially what we're going to do in this challenge. So let's look at what we need to do. So um, so the profile page is authenticated, we can, okay, so what it says first is that we have to give the username variable, which will be stored in the username field. Um, by the way, in the actual free code camp database, I don't have any uh, users right now, but it will be stored in the username field. And we need to pass that um, as username right here. So what we want to do is, if we go to server.js, when we're um, rendering the profile page right here. But we can give an object here, and we can say username, and the username is in the rec.user, which is the user document, and it's just in a field called username like this. So we've passed the username to the profile, and profile now has this username variable. Then let's go to index, uh, and then let's go to profile.pug, and what it wants us to do is add a h2, which says welcome, and then their username. And let's just copy that in because I don't want to take any risks. And where it says add your code below this, just put the h header two right here. And then this username variable, remember, will be the username that came from um, the express route that we gave right here. And once again, remember that this only runs if the authenticated is true. Otherwise, they'll be redirected back to the login page. So we know we'll always have the request on username. So we've done that now. And what this does is it creates a H2 element with an ID of welcome. And it also centers it, uh, yeah, it gives a class of center right here. Then uh, we need to add a link to the logout. And we haven't um, put that yet, but we will host that later. And that will be used to log out the user. So we can just copy this link right here and then just put logout right here. And this will root to slash logout. It'll put get root to slash logout when we click it. So 
And we save all of that now. And um, once again, if we go to the profile page now, um, it shouldn't load anything because we're not signed in and we should be redirected back here. But that should be everything we need to do for this challenge. So we can just copy this and submit it. And hopefully um, we should see that it should pass. I'm just gonna quickly um, check on the source code just to make sure that I've done everything correctly. Um, Oh, um, it's because I've maybe because I've rendered the profile page as profile here, but um, I think I might need to render it as view slash pug slash profile. So let's just copy that. It's because um, when I did it, I set up the um, view directory, I think somewhere. Um, and they have a different way where they put the full path in. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go back um, to the previous challenge and I'm just going to copy this right here um, for the rendering. Um, it should have worked with just profile by itself, but I think maybe the way it's being tested is you have to do it like this. So this looks in the current directory and then renders views, then pug and then profile. If I tried with those and I submit this, oops, fingers crossed. Yeah, we can see that it works. So just make sure that you have your um, render process set up like this and not just profile like the way I had it. It should work with just profile, but again, annoyingly it's marked line by line. So just make sure you have it like that. Make sure you give the username to the um, renderer and this will make sure that the username variable with the user's documents username is available in the profile and then it will be rendered here in this username field that should be everything you need to do the challenge so you can submit it and go on to the next one